Hi folks, support our new episode with your like and subscribe to the channel if you continue to watch us without subscription. Moreover, share which Champion League match you are gonna watch today in the comments below. And while you're tapping your pick, we proceed to start. Let's get the show on the pitch. New contract? Of course, I would like to be here for more years, so we'll see what happens in the future, David De Gea stated. Lino Messi will miss the Champions League clash against Benfica due to muscle injury. Thibaut Courtois risks missing La Liga El Clasico against Barcelona. He had a relapse of the injury. Brighton Hove Albion central midfielder Anoch Mwepo has been forced to retire after being diagnosed with a hereditary heart condition. Roberto Mancini's assistant Daniele De Rossi will soon be taking his first manager role at the Serie B side Spal. EPL and Serie A clubs are actively monitoring RB Salzburg star Noah Okafor. Bayern Munich defender Alfonso Davies was diagnosed with a cranial bruise after their classic against Borussia Dortmund. Adrian Rabiot doubts whether he should extend his deal with Juventus. The management of VFP Stuttgart have confirmed that they have relieved head coach Pellegrino Materazzo of his duties. Paolo Dybala is unlikely to have enough time to recover before the 2022 World Cup kickoff. He suffered an injury while taking a penalty for AS Roma vs Lecce on Sunday. It's up to Thiago, he will decide. All I can do is help him enjoy his football here. The rest is for him and the club to think about," Graham Potter said. Liverpool winger Luis Diaz is out of action until the end of December. Unfortunately, he will miss the World Cup. Tottenham are in talks with Google over the name and rights to the team's stadium. Swiss champions FC Zurich have sacked Franco Foda and appointed Danish Bo Hendrickson from Midtjylland. PSV have confirmed that Xavi Simmons' contract includes a 12 million euros buyback loss for PSG. Juventus would lose one-fourth of their revenues, about 100 million euros, if they miss out on a top-four finish in Serie A. I'd love to return to Barca, it's my home, but I don't know in which role, Andres Iniesta noted. Frankie de Jong has fully recovered from an injury, he will appear in a starting 11 for the game versus Inter Milan. Bayern Munich midfielder Jamal Musiala will not be involved in the Champions League action against Victoria Pilsen due to testing positive for COVID-19. The legendary Dani Alves had a training session with Barca Athletic under Rafa Marquez. Tottenham are hoping to extend the contract with Antonio Conte. The Italian could earn 20 million euros a year, which would make him the highest paid manager in the Premier League. Liverpool are not in the title race, Jurgen Klopp claimed. Marco Asensio's entourage denies that their Real Madrid attacking midfielder held talks with Barcelona. Arsenal are tracking club broke top striker Ferran Hudgla. Juventus will not part ways with Massimiliano Allegri until the end of the 2022 because of too high redundancy fee. During the game against Inter, Tottenham scouts were present to watch Sassuolo and Italy midfielder Davide Fratesi. AC Milan attacking midfielder Charles de Quetelar will miss the Champions League battle against Chelsea after picking up a minor injury. We will build a statue of Lionel Messi outside the camp now, the decision has been made, Joan Laporte announced. Bayern are not planning to get a new centre forward in the near future. The Bavarians are counting on young Mathis Tell. Liverpool have no intention to recruit midfielder Arthur Mello from Juventus. Arsenal are in talks with Gabriel Martinelli over the Brazilians' new contract. Southampton are not excluding the possibility of sacking their manager Ralph Hasenhüttl. He can be replaced by Domenico Tedesco instead. Atletico Madrid could sign Roberto Firmino in the summer if he doesn't extend his agreement with Liverpool and becomes a free agent. Wolverhampton Wanderers owner Jeff Shee flew to Spain in order to negotiate with Julian Lopategui, as the official sees only him taking the head coaching job. West Bromwich Albion are considering hiring Roy Keane for the vacant position of the team's new head coach. Among other things, yesterday we had three top leagues fixtures to watch. The latest results are in your screens. Moving on to the main news of the release. Atletico Madrid have officially announced that they have acquired Antoine Griezmann from Barcelona on a permanent deal. The Frenchman penned an agreement with the Indians until the summer of 2026. The amount is not disclosed by the parties, though previously the media mentioned the sum of around 20 million euros plus add-ins. The chances of Cristiano Ronaldo's winter departure from Manchester United are getting increasingly higher. The Red Devils have already gotten used to the fact that they will not be able to keep him for long, so the club agreed to sell the Portugal athlete for a symbolic sum of 11 million euros. Despite Eric Ten Hag's claims about CR7's loyalty to the red side of Manchester, Ronaldo will do whatever it takes to get to the Champions League-oriented destination in January. 
Back in the summer, PSG actually did consider the option of selling Neymar Jr. The Brazilian was not included in the club's project, which was shown to Kylian Mbappe before signing a contract renewal. Nevertheless, the French forward himself never insisted on in selling Neymar. Barcelona have decided on four footballers who might join the Catalans in the summer. In the midfield area, Blaugrana management sees N'Golo Kante and Jorginho from Chelsea, as well as Yuri Tillemans from Leicester City. The center of defense could be boosted by Milan Skriniar from Inter. Interestingly enough, Jorginho's agent, Joao Santos, has already arrived in Barcelona to discuss his client's potential move to Camp Nou next year. AC Milan star Rafael Liao continues to remain the tidbit for many major leagues giants. It was previously reported on the Portuguese being Chelsea's main target for next summer. From now on, however, a very strong competitor, PSG, stepped into the scene. What's more, the Parisians are already willing to pay Liao's contract buyout clause of 150 million euros. PSV star Cody Gakpo is likely to pursue his career at Real Madrid. Recently, the Dutchman was close to Leeds United move, but the deal fell through because the players changed his mind and decided to only consider top-level clubs. In addition, the Peacocks could not have provided Gakpo the financial conditions that Real Madrid are able to satisfy. The winger has netted 13 goals and 10 assists in 16 appearances for the current campaign at PSV. The transfer marked portal estimates Gakpo's market value at 35 million euros. By the way, Real Madrid have big plans for Manchester City forward Erling Haaland. The Marengues consider the Norwegian as a priority target to replace Karim Benzema in the future. Rumors are also spreading that from 2024, Haaland's contract with City will include a clause, according to which Erling will have the right to join Real. Lionel Messi continues thinking about the next step for his club career. The PSG striker is set to leave Paris and return to Barcelona next summer. Although Leo has an important condition, he demands a guaranteed place in the Catalan starting lineup. The 35-year-old Argentine will not accept Barca's offer if Xavi will only consider him a substitute player due to his age. Messi wishes to play alongside and on an equal footing with Barcelona youngsters, remaining at the forefront of the Catalan club's new sporting project picture. At the same time, Blaugranas will need to satisfy the financial demands of Messi, who now earns approximately 35 million euros per year at PSG. The management of Bayern Munich has a plan of how to pull off the signing of Tottenham Hotspur leader Harry Kane in the summer of 2023 as a replacement for Robert Lewandowski. The English marksman's name is hotly debated within the Munich side in terms of transfer target priorities. No doubt, Bayern have the resources to take Kane aboard, but with Tottenham currently positioned third in the Premier League standings, it remains to be monitored whether Harry will be willing to quit Spurs as he wished in the past few years. Guys, be sure to check out videos from our other projects. We have the best number one game content specially for you. On this note, we are to end the episode. It was Football News. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.